So one of the easiest ways to make sales with digital designs is to simply go to a public domain website. So here's a site called Raw Pixel. Now, not everything on here is public domain. They have lots of commercially available, high quality photographs and illustrations. However, at the top of Raw Pixel, I can simply click on this public domain option and everything inside of this now is public domain. So I'm going to pick an image and show you how we can easily create something for digital sale. I'm going to scroll on down here to the bottom of page one and you'll see every all of these are actual photograph albums. These are albums. So I'm going to pick this one right here, this history of Egyptian art. I'm going to click on that and check these out. These are all public domain. So as I scroll on down, I'm going to pick something here at random that I think would make a good looking digital file. Here's one, this guy drinking coffee or whatever he's doing a million billion years ago back in the old ancient Egypt days. So I'm simply going to download this file. Now you could pick a small one, a large one, or the original file. I'm going to pick the small one and I'm going to click on download. I've already downloaded it. You can see here it's public domain free CC0. And what CC0 means is it's truly public domain. There are no copyright restrictions. And if you want to double check that, simply click the little eye next to it and you'll see public domain free for personal and commercial use with no attribution. This is a high quality website, high quality image. So I'm going to download this small JPEG and then meet me over in Inkscape. All right, so now we're inside of Inkscape. And if you've never heard of Inkscape before, it's a completely free vector software tool. Now I have, have not imported a vector. This is an actual picture, okay, but we're going to create a vector from it. So there's a couple of things here I'll do. First, I'm just going to remove the white background. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties. Down on the bottom right, I'm going to select Checkerboard Background. Now I've got, now I can see that there's like a white overlay. And there's also this tan kind of papyrus paper. So we want to get rid of all of that and just leave the black image, which is our little pharaoh guy here. So I'm going to click on him, okay? And when you click on him once, he looks like that and you can change the proportions or if you click on him again, you can actually rotate it. So I'm just going to click on him once so he's looking like that. And then I'm simply going to go up to path, trace bitmap. From here, I get this little trace bitmap window and I can change the brightness threshold so I can make it brighter or lighter. Now, if I want to check it out in advance, I can click the update button and that's going to give me sort of a grainy little image that'll give me an idea as to how heavy or light the ink will be on there. So I'm going to click apply now when I'm ready to go. And now I can see that I've made my actual image. So I'm going to move this off to the side. Here's my actual image. That's my actual vector. And I can also select the edit paths by node button. And I can see that this is a vector and a relatively clean vector. There's one little piece up here that I'm just going to select and hit the delete key. And we can see now the actual vector is constrained. Oh, there's some stuff down here at the bottom. So I'll select that and I'll delete that. And you can see the little dotted lines now get smaller because our vector is now truly clean. Now I could make this heavier if I wanted. I can select this again and I could up the amount of the brightness. So I could say 62, for example, I'll click apply. And that's going to make a more heavy background. You'll see that it picks up the top and the bottom as well. I like that better. So I'm going to keep that. So you may have to monkey around a bit with the brightness threshold. I'm going to select edit paths by node. We can see we've got a bit more garbage here along the back that I'm going to clean up. So I'm just selecting this and I'm clicking delete. So this just makes it nice and clean. So now we've got a nice clean vector. So you may be asking yourself, well, who would buy this? And the answer is digital crafters would because they, A, they don't know to go to a website like Raw Pixel, and B, they don't have the time, the energy, or the knowledge, or the technology to make a vector just like this. So now using this, we can change the color, which is pretty cool. You can make a nice black light poster, for example, with that. You can even make it white if you wanted. It's hard to see, but you could make that white on a black t-shirt. We'll just keep it black for now. And then to go to where you want to export this, it's over on the right hand side. There's a little export button. It's about six down and it says export this document as a PNG. You'll select that. You'll pick your target folder and then you'll export it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So you can see here, I've got my file name and then my name. I could change the name if I wanted. I could change the export 
uh, destination folder if I wanted as well. And then I can also change the width and the height. Changing the width and the height is pretty easy. I'm just going to zoom out. And by the way, to zoom out, all I'm doing is I'm holding down the control key and I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel. Scroll up, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down. And then I can just make this larger again by holding down the control key. I can make this larger or smaller. So you'll notice this, this width and this height are changing when I'm changing the actual size of this, I'm making it larger, making it smaller. For me, when I sell a PNG file, typically what I like to do is make it about 10,000 on one side. I like to make it 400 DPI because everybody else does 300 DPI and I'm a bit of a DPI snob. DPI just stands for dots per inch. So this is a very high quality poster ready vector. 400 dots per inch, 10,000 pixels, that's pretty big. So from here, I can simply hit the export button and we can see now it's exporting that as a PNG file. I hope you found that helpful. And remember, everything in that public domain section at Raw Pixel is free. Hope you guys found that helpful. And here's another video on how you can level up your Inkscape superpowers. Thanks a lot for watching.